Today, we're going to walk through how to manage consent and subscription status in Klaviyo using our API endpoints. But first, to see more content like this, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let's pass it to Michaela to get started. In Klaviyo, consent is managed per profile with separate consent statuses for email, SMS, and transactional SMS. First, let's walk through how to subscribe a profile to email marketing. For this demo, I will be working with Klaviyo's API collection in Postman. Check out this video's description for detailed information on how to set up Klaviyo's Postman collection. The bulk subscribe profiles endpoint is a server-side API that requires write access to lists, profiles, and subscriptions. Be sure to authenticate your Postman collection with a private API key with these permissions. There's also an analogous client-side create client subscription endpoint that you can use to subscribe profiles using front-end code. If you want to add a profile to a list without updating consent status, use the add profiles to list endpoint. Open Postman and select the bulk subscribe profiles endpoint. Headers and request URL populate automatically. The Postman collection also provides an example request body that you can customize. For the purposes of this demonstration, delete this and we will use the bulk subscribe profiles documentation to set up the body of the API request. We can see that the body starts with the data object and required field type profile subscription bulk create job. Next up is the attributes object with an optional custom source property. It's useful to include the custom source attribute to track where your customers are coming from. For this example, I will include custom source with a value of checkout to indicate that this customer consented at checkout. The profiles object is required and contains an array of profiles you wish to subscribe to marketing. For each profile, add the required field type profile. Provide a Klaviyo ID, email, or phone number to identify the profile on which to update consent status. To subscribe a profile to email marketing, you must include an email address, which is nested within the attributes object. Within the attributes object, also include the subscriptions object to specify the channel and message types that the profile will be consented to. To subscribe this profile to email, include the email object, which includes the marketing object with a value of subscribed in all caps for consent. You can also provide an optional consent timestamp in ISO format if this subscription is part of a historical import. Since I am only subscribing one profile, I can close this array. The last piece of the request body is the optional relationships object, which allows you to specify a list to subscribe the profile to. Within the relationships object, include the list object, the data object, and type with a value of list. Provide list ID, which you can find by navigating to the list in your Klaviyo account and copying the six digit ID from the URL. Note that this must be a list and not a segment. When you are ready, make your API request. If the list is set to double opt-in, the customer will need to confirm their subscription via the double opt-in email sent to their inbox. Next, let's go over how to subscribe multiple profiles to different consent channels. Let's build off of our existing example and say that this profile consented to marketing and transactional SMS in addition to email. We can add their phone number in the attributes object. Within the subscriptions object, add an SMS object. This will contain two objects, a transactional object and a marketing object, both containing consent with a value of subscribed. This indicates that the customer is subscribing to both marketing and transactional SMS. The bulk subscribe profiles endpoint allows you to subscribe multiple profiles at a time, so we can also subscribe another customer in the same API call. Within the data array, Let's add in another object with type profile to represent the new customer. This new customer provided their email and phone number, but only consented to email marketing. 
We can emulate the structure of the first profile, including the customer's email, phone number, and the subscription's object. Since the customer only subscribed to email marketing, within the subscriptions object, I include the email object, which contains the marketing object, which contains consent with a value of subscribed in all caps. The customer's phone number will be added to this profile, but the profile will only be consented to email marketing. If the list is set to double opt-in, after making this API request, both profiles will need to confirm double opt-in on the appropriate messaging channel. Note that there is a difference between consent status and suppression status. Consent status indicates whether a profile has given explicit permission to receive marketing communications, while suppression status indicates whether a profile is intentionally excluded from communications for reasons like email bounces. We have separate API endpoints for subscribing, unsubscribing, suppressing, and unsuppressing profiles. Select the correct one based on your use case. Note that suppressing a profile does not update their consent status. Managing consent and subscriptions in Klaviyo is crucial to communicating properly with your audience. Use Klaviyo's APIs to help simplify and automate this process. If you found this content helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, check out the description for more resources like this to help you learn and grow with Klaviyo.